What's up, y'all? It's your boy KD in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy KD in the building, man. And we talking that good boxing talk. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let the peoples in the highways and the byways know we talk that shit. But uh, but on to some boxing shit, man. But yes, sir. Um, I got a chance to catch a good one. Craig Richards versus Dimitri Bivol. Uh, this was a really, really good scrap that I wasn't really anticipating watching, but was pleasantly surprised, pleasantly surprised, um, that I, that I actually caught it. Dimitri Bivol is one of those guys who I always felt like never really challenged himself. So, uh, for me, uh, looking at this fight and seeing Craig Richards jump in the ring with Bivol, uh, this was definitely one of those challenges that I was looking to see, uh, Dimitri Bivol undertake. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, the fight didn't disappoint. This was a really good fight, man. I was really impressed with both fighters, both fighters' wills, both fighters' commitment, both fighters' dedication, um, and both fighters' willingness to to come away with the W. Ultimately, Dimitri Bivol ended up coming away with that dub. You know, he maintains that WBA, light heavyweight championship of the world. So we got to give him props for that. Uh, but that, that win didn't come easily, man. Craig Richards was in there. Craig, Craig Richards was sharp. Craig, Craig Richards was slick. Was slick. Craig Richards had a jab that keep coming or that kept coming. Craig Richards uh, wasn't deterred by any of the punishment that Dimitri Bivol laid out. He walked through some punches in order to get to that 12th round, and we got to give him a whole lot of props in itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, there were some things that Craig Richards uh, did that I really felt that I really really liked. You know what I'm saying? I, I really feel like Craig Richards could have won this goddamn fight and and not only won it but won it very easily um i feel like ultimately dimitri bivel won the fight by just being very active and outworking craig richards but had craig richards just done a made a few adjustments to what he was doing he could have easily won this fight like one for example first of all craig richards after you're, after you're done throwing punches why do you stay right there within punching distance of dimitri bivel after you hit somebody you move the fuck out the way and that was one thing craig richards was doing that deeply deeply pissed me all the way the fuck off um you throw punches you move out the way you don't throw punches and stand right there in punching distance for your opponent to get off and that was one thing that craig, craig richards was doing that was really upsetting had he just moved out the way he could have made dimitri bivel move and made dimitri, dimitri bivel get off of that straight line that he likes to throw punches he could have made dimitri bivel work a little bit harder in order to work as hard in order to get uh his punches off you know what i'm saying and that change alone would have been a huge difference in the outcome of the fight another thing that craig richards did that pissed me all the way the fuck off you know what I'm saying? He wasn't moving his head enough. Craig Richards would stand straight up in the air with his chin up in the air. And all Dimitri had, Bivol had to do was just chuck up a few punches and hope to get close to where Craig Richards was. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I mean, those two things alone, just by him moving his head and by him moving around a little bit or moving out of the way once he was able to throw some punches, um, those two things alone would have made the fight a lot more difficult for Dimitri Bivol and he probably would have won the fight very easily just with those two changes made to his game you know what I'm saying but that aside man I was just really impressed in general with Craig Richards his ability to throw a, a, a consistent straight jab that was working constantly his ability uh, to to, to use little Mayweather tactics. I saw Craig Richards uh, use a pull counter a few times. I saw Craig Richards throw a few left uh, uh, left hook straight right hands down the pipe. I saw him punching through gloves. I saw him utilizing a lot of tactics that for goddamn, I mean, goddamn, it was pretty impressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 and I just would have liked to see a lot more of that. Either that or him just utilizing some of the moves uh, that I meant before like punching and then getting up out of the way or just moving his head a little bit more in order to be a little bit more competitive in this fight um, but you know all in all I was impressed for him impressed by him and Dimitri Bivol uh, Dimitri Bivol showed that you know he showed what he showed he was active he outworked him um, you know uh, I, I do feel like Dimitri Bivol won this fight um, I feel like he could have easily lost I feel like this was a close fight but I do feel like he won this fight and I feel like there was a there's a lot of vulnerabilities 
about Dimitri Bivol that just came out in this fight. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of fighters out there who should be looking at this fight, licking their chops. You know what I'm saying? In anticipation for a Dimitri Bivol fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really want to see Bivol better be. I think that fight needs to happen uh, sooner rather than later. Um, but, you know, ultimately... Um, this was a really good scrap that I really wasn't expecting on a Saturday, you know, from the zone. You know what I'm saying, you know. Um, but again, man, those are my thoughts on the fight. I, I, it was a grueling 12-round affair. Uh, Bivol won a close unanimous decision and maintained his belt. Uh, but this was a good fight, man. Let me know what you guys think about this shit, man. Um, hit it up in the comment section below. Make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel, goddamn. We're going to keep talking and watching this boxing. And uh, yeah, man, till next time. Peace.